So today we're going to look at how to construct a scatter plot given a table of points. And then once we construct that scatter plot, we're going to find the line of best fit uh, by hand, so not using calculator. So by now you should be fine with plotting a point. My first point here is 4, 6, so all we're going to do is go over to my graph and plot, put it on the coordinate plane. So 4, 6, right there. 1, 2, 3, 5, 2, 4, I'm sorry, 3, 5, 2, 4, 5, 8, 6, 9, 8, 10, and 7, 9. So already you can see uh, the, the line of best fit developing. Now, to, to find the line of best fit, you have to approximate what line goes roughly through the middle of those points. Now, it, if we had an outlier out here, let's say we had a point right there that, that didn't follow the data, we'd have to ignore that. But in this case, the data is, is um, quite good and it has a strong correlation. So my trend line of approximately goes through those points and up like that. Now that's an approximation, of course. When you do these by hand, you're never, by hand, you're never going to get it exactly correct. But the approximation lets us select two points that we can then use to find the equation of the line. So this is my line of best fit. And now I want to find the equation for this line. As you should have learned already in Algebra 1, you know that to find the equation of a line, all you need are two points. So looking at my trend line, I think that this one looks like a good point that I might want to pick. And uh, this one looks like a good point as well. So we're going to choose those two points. This point is 7, 9. And this point here is 3, 5. Now, could you have selected other points? Yes. Uh, your classmate may, for example, get a trend line that is slightly different. Because we haven't used the calculator yet, you're not quite sure which one is going to be the best at this point. But you want to choose something that seems reasonable. We write our points over here at the side, and we're going to calculate the equation of that line. Remember that for any line, it's y equals mx plus b. m stands for your slope and b is your y-intercept. We can find the slope of this by plugging it into the slope equation, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and plugging our values in from the two points we selected above. So, for example, we would have 5 minus 9 over 3 minus 7. 5 minus 9 is negative 4. 3 minus 7 is negative 4 as well. That's quite convenient. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is going to be a 1. So my slope of my trend line is going to be a 1. Now what we need to do is we need to plug that back in. We get y equals, my slope we just found was 1, so 1x plus b. We need to solve for that b. So once again, we're going to take our point from above. does not matter which one we pick. And we're going to plug it in. We have y, my y value, so 9, equals 1 times my x value, which is 7, plus b. We get 9 equals 7 plus b. Solving for b, subtract 7 on both sides. And we get b is equal to 2. So finally, we have already the slope, which was 1. We have the y-intercept, which was 2. We can combine these two pieces of information to write the equation of my line of best fit. And that equation is going to be y equals 1x, or just x, you don't have to write it, plus 2. So I'll write it the other way as well, y equals x plus 2. Taking a look at your graph, that seems about uh, correct. The slope appears to be 1. You notice that it roughly goes up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, consistently. And you notice that the y-intercept 
is approximately 2. It's not drawn perfectly, but you can see that, that that seems like a reasonable solution. Now, the next thing we have to ask is, you'll notice on the left side, I asked you, excuse me, I asked you to find the value of y when x is equal to 9. So to do that, I'm going to keep my equation on the board down at the bottom corner, but I'm going to erase all this. To do that, we need to find the equation first, which I already did, and then we can simply plug it back in. So one second here. We know that the equation is y equals x plus 2. So if I have y equals I know that I want to plug in for my x value, that 9, so I have y equals, I'm going to plug in the x value, 9 plus 2, 9 plus 2, easy as that, y equals 11. If we take a look at our graph, we wanted x as 9, so here's x as 9, we follow that all the way up y would be approximately 11. So this seems like a great approximation for us. Once again, this is only by hand. It's not going to give you a great answer. Um, we're going to work on the calculator in the coming lessons.